What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 things you didn't know about Super Mario Galaxy. Number 10. Yoshi was originally going to be in the game, but was removed due to developers thinking that it would have been too much all at once. They said that, if you're going to put Yoshi in a game, he has to be the main element. But Super Mario Galaxy had spherical landforms and gravity shifts and a lot of elements that were entirely new. And, even if we had used him, we might have only been able to use him on a single stage. Number 9. An unused Luma called Tikoji is present in the game's data. Tikoji vaguely resembles L-Star from Paper Mario and the Millennium Star from Mario Party 5. Number 8. The battle against Megaleg is based on a scrapped concept of the final battle in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, where Link would have to scale Ganon's then colossal body in order to defeat him. Number 7. After collecting 9,999 star bits, all of the coconuts turn into watermelons. Number 6. There is a hidden toy train in the Toy Time Galaxy. It serves no purpose and was likely a gag made by the developers. Number 5. On the game's cover, certain letters in the title have a small star underneath them. Reading only these letters spells out, You are Mr. Gay. Either a funny coincidence, or a joke played by the cover artists. The letters sparkle on the title screen as well. Number 3. The Japanese Super Mario Galaxy announces, Stargate, when the player acquires a star, and Grand Stargate, when they get a grand star. In the US version, the grammar was cleaned up to read, You got a star, and You got a grand star. A similar change occurred in Super Mario Sunshine, where Shine Get was changed to Shine. Number 2. A collection of realistic looking bugs can be found in the game's files rigged and animated. It is unknown what these bugs would have been used for. Number 1. In the final chapter of Rosalina's storybook, in the French version of one of the pages, the line is different than compared to the version shown in the game in other regions. When translated, the line reads, I would like, once every hundred years, to return back to my blue planet and doze on the knees of my father, stroking the mustache that was his pride. Alright, that's gonna do it for this top 10 video about Super Mario Galaxy. If you learned anything or enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything, leave a dislike. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.